Welcome to FreshMind.com. My name is Eric and this is part three of our basic calculator. In part one we created the model. In part two we created some UV texture maps. Now we need to take those maps and import those into some photo editing software. That way we can use those maps as a guide to create our textures. So I'm going to go to my desktop and there's the two files that we saved. Let me open these up. There's the main UVs for our calculator and this is going to be our buttons. There's the buttons. Photoshop is pretty much the industry standard when it comes to creating textures. If you don't have Photoshop or you don't have the money to purchase Photoshop, a good alternative is a program called GIMP, G-I-M-P, and you can download it free from the internet. You should just be able to Google it, Google G-I-M-P, and you should come up with some sites. All right, so GIMP opens up. I'm going to go to File, click Open. I'm going to navigate to my desktop, and there's the two files. I'm going to start with the main UVs, our calculator UV snapshot. I'm going to Open. I see Warning, Resolution Units Meaningless. I'm just going to close that out. It's just giving us some info is all. All right, I'm going to go up to this Dialogs menu and click on Layers. Now we have a dialog box that's going to show us all our layers. Right now we've only got one layer, which is our UVs, but eventually we're going to delete this layer because we don't want these white lines showing up on our model. So I'm going to go up to Layer, click on New Layer, and let's name this Body. So now we have a body layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my UVs on top of the stack. So all our layers are going to be underneath our UVs. And to do that, I'm just going to click on our backgrounds layer. And at the very bottom, there's a green arrow. I'm just going to click it up. And now it puts it at the top of this list, which also puts it at the top of our stack. So if we were looking through a bunch of stacks of paper, clear stacks of paper, then our UVs would be at the very top. OK, I'm going to click on body. Make sure we're going to paint on this body layer. I'm going to go over to my GIMP tools click on this rectangular selection tool and then all I'm going to do is just click and drag across this part of our UVs. Now I'm going to click on this color box and let's pick a color for our calculators. Maybe kind of a, actually let me just go, we can do it anywhere. Let's create, here we go create a gray color, kind of a light gray, not too light. Maybe something like that. There we go. Click OK. Now I'm going to click the paint bucket over here in our tools and I'm just going to pour the paint in just by clicking. And now we've added a color to our calculator. Now what about, here's a border. There's the kind of like our borders that we created UVs for. This is going to be, a, let's make this a, kind of a really dark gray. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to the this uh, rectangular select tool. I'm going to click and drag across both those. Let's pick a dark, like a really dark color, maybe something like that. And now I'm going to click the paint bucket and just pour the paint in there. There we go. So the only thing, when we apply this to our model, this gray is only going to go on the border of that window and then the border of our solar panel window. That's the only place it's going to show. And then this is going to be everything on our body, not the buttons, not those borders, but everything else is going to make it a light gray, so our calculator will be a light gray. And this right here is actually going to go right there and right there in our solar panel, so let's give those a color. And if you wanted to, we could put those on a different layer. We could just go up to layer, create a new layer. Let's call this display or displays. Make sure it's on transparency. And then click OK. I'm going to click to make sure I'm on the displays layer. And now I'm go up to my rectangular selection tool. And let's do this bottom part. So I'm just going to click, drag. Let's give it a color. Maybe, uh, let's see what this is. 
Looks like that's not bad there. We can lighten it up some. There we go. I like that color right there. So click OK. Click my paint bucket tool and just pour the paint in. There we go. So that's going to be the color of our display screen. Let's see. I'm going to go to the rectangular view again. Pick a color for our solar panel. And this time I'm going to pick. Looks like this right here is a good color. Yeah, let's select that. Kind of a brownish, reddish color, a dark color. Click my paint bucket, pour the paint in. There we go. I'm actually going to create some lines. I'm looking at this calculator and there's some thin lines going through there. So I'm going to select this pencil. Let's change our brush side to something really small. Something like that. Maybe even smaller. Well, we'll have to play with it and see what, how it comes out. Change our color. I'm going to go back to our screen color. That's kind of what it looks like. Click OK. I'm just going to click up here. I'm going to hold the shift button down to pull up this guide. And then click. I'm going to do it again in the middle. And then again over here. Hold the shift button down and click. So that kind of puts some lines through there. All right, so looks like we're done with this one. So now I'm going to, we need to get rid of our background layer because we don't need that now. And actually let's do one more thing. Let's give our calculator a name, like a logo or something up here in the upper right. So let's go ahead and create another layer, layer, new layer. And let's type logo, click OK. And now it's at the top. I want it to be underneath our background. Actually, it probably doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to grab this background and move it up. Click on our logo level, uh, layer to make sure it's selected. Make sure we're painting on the right layer. And I'm going to click on this big A over here. And now I'm just going to click anywhere over here where I want to type. So I'll click. Opens up this box. And let's type Fresh Maya Save how about XL2009? Make it sound fancy. There we go. Now, I want the words to be black, not green. So let's choose a black color. That's black, I think. Yeah, there we go. We can change the size if we want. We can make it bold if we click this button up here. Let's see, there's a Sam's bold. Let's do that. If you wanted, you could even change the type of the type of font. I think it just locked up. Nope, I thought it just locked up on me. I'm glad it didn't. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Now I'm gonna move these words. I don't want it right there. I want to move it up a little bit where it's more even with our solar panel window. So I'm gonna click on this move tool. I'm gonna hold down the shift button on my keyboard, and now I'm just gonna grab and I can drag those around. There we go. Now that we're done, I'm going to delete this background layer. So I'm just going to right click on it, select delete layer, because we're done with that. And let's go to image, flatten image. Now that our image has been flattened, we can go to file, save as, and I'm going to call this calculator texture dot jpg for jpeg. Now you can also go down here at the bottom of this window where it's got this select file type by extension. You can just click on the little plus sign and there's jpeg. You can just click that and click save. Make sure you put it where you want it. Let's just go to our desktop. Make sure it's there. Calculator texture jpeg save. It's going to ask us for quality. I'm just going to leave it at default 85. Click save. And now, over here on my desktop is our texture. So if I close all this out, yeah, I'm done. I'm not going to do anything else. If I close it out, now our calculator texture is right there. 
So let's go back into Maya and let's apply that. I'm going to select our calculator. I'm going to right click, go down to assign new material, go up to Lambert, or I'll do a blend. I'm going to go to blend. I'm going to knock the reflectivity down. It's a little too high, so let's kind of pull that down some. Everything else is probably good. Where it says color, I'm going to click on the box or the button over here on the far right. It's got the checkerboard pattern on it. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on file, so we're going to use a file from our computer as the color. And right now it's asking us what file we want. So I'm going to click on this button with the folder and navigate to my desktop.